We open with Jason climbing a rope and Trini expressing her concern for his safety, establishing her fear of heights for this episode. Strange how she didn't have any issue with heights in the last episode when she started piloting the Sabertooth Tiger Zord. After Jason reaches the top and comes back down, we're treated to this scene of Jason and Billy's trapeze audition, which prompts this response from Bulk. <laughs> nah, the circus don't take geek clowns. Actually, Bulk, the origin of the word geek stems from circus performers who would bite the heads off chickens. Thanks, Phoebe Heyerdahl. After Bulk embarrasses himself yet again, Billy tells the others he created their communicators that incidentally ended up doubling as teleportation devices. I know he did it by accident, but why is he still in high school? If this is something he can do, along with a certain car we'll be seeing later, imagine what good he can do on a much larger scale. Meanwhile on the moon, Babu and Squad have made a time device which resembles a model rocket, as part of Rita's plan to strand the rangers in a time warp, and Finster puts together a new monster named Bones to deal with them. What's taking so long? He's going to be overcome! Hey, oh. <laughs> I am Bones, at your service! Babu launches the model rocket to Earth to open the time warp, and... <laughs> okay, I know that it's supposed to be something to be afraid of, but I can't help but find it funny how everyone is panicking at the sight of what clearly resembles a toy rocket, along with them trying desperately to avoid it like it was an oncoming car. Anyway, it starts opening up a hole in time, and Zordon sends the rangers to the outside of town, where the putties are gathered. I don't get it. What are they doing out here? I don't know. Well, we better stay here and keep an eye on them. The attempt at spying on them goes south when their position is given away, and the rangers engage with them in combat, which eventually leads to Billy and Trini breaking away from the group and going their own directions. Why did they do this instead of just staying with the others and making this much easier on themselves? I don't know. I just watch and review this stuff. I don't write it. Trini gives the two putties who were chasing her the slip, while Billy hasn't, and because of it, he's made his way to the top of a cliff, and he's only got so much space left before he's forced to jump. It gets so bad, he accidentally drops his morpher and lets out a... Whatever scream this is. <laughs> Trini decides to go up there despite her own crippling fear of heights to save him. Once she gets to him, she decides to pull one right out of Bugs Bunny's playbook and make the putty Billy had failed to lose throw himself off the cliff and presumably onto a car in the desert. <laughs> Billy and Trini then see the others struggling against the putties and decide to help them out, which they wouldn't have to do if they just stayed together. This then gives Jason, Zack, and Kim the opportunity to do something I'm at least 99% certain some kids did attempt to recreate at home. Go! Let's do it! Remember, don't try any of this at home. Go to a friend's house! <laughs> with the Rangers having dealt with the putty diversion, Rita sends Bones to Earth. Congratulations, Power Rangers. You've done a superb job dealing with the putties. And special congratulations to you, Trini, for overcoming your fear in the face of an emergency. Hold your positions, everyone. Our scanners have picked up a new threat. Rita has sent a creature named Bones down to the amusement park. He can fire energy bolts out of his eyes, and jump long distances, and even make himself disappear. He probably controls the time device as well. I love how Zordon just assumes Bones controls the model rocket, I mean time device, and sends them to the amusement park he's at. He then strands them in a time warp that resembles how I think the hookah-smoking caterpillar sees Wonderland. While the rangers bring out their blade blasters to battle Bones and his minions, Squat and Babu have found their way there just so that they can blow up the model rocket to strand the rangers there for good. Hurry up! You did bring the matches, didn't you? I told you not to forget them! Oh, let me see that! Oh, now just hold it steady so I can light it. There! Oh boy, now we're gonna get it! Oh! Yay! Jason, look! Look! Stop! <laughs> it ultimately fails because, well, they're the comic relief villains. Trini then takes Bone's head and throws it into the crevice he had made. <laughs> Oh, 
Rita decides to send a giant to Earth who gives Jason the King Kong treatment, only not as romantic. Seriously, he didn't even take him to the Empire State Building or anything. I swear, giant monsters today have no sense of passion. Jason manages to break free by blasting him and calls on his T-Rex sword to level the playing field and scores himself his first solo win. Back at the youth center, Billy mentions that Alpha and Zordon refine their communicator so that they can both talk to them and teleport to the command center whenever they need to. The episode ends with Zack scaring Trini to climb to the top of the rope from earlier now that her fear of heights is conquered. Don't worry, this will come back to bite Zack later. Boy, does it come back to bite him. This was an okay episode. I think it did a serviceable job in trying to flesh out Trini a bit more. I know they were restricted to what they can do with the stock footage given to them, but I honestly think this should have been Trini's win against the M.O.W. since her fear of heights was a major part of the episode. And as I mentioned earlier, why does she have a fear of heights now, even though piloting her Zord required her to be who knows how many feet just to enter it? It's just something that bugs me now that I rewatch it. Also, after seeing the Blade Blasters again after so long, I never want to hear anyone complain about Squall's Gunblade ever again. Especially since most of the people who do complain about it more than likely grew up watching this. Just have to reflux the... Uh-oh.